In this video, we're going to talk about joint variation. So Z varies jointly as X and Y. What does this mean? It means that Z equals some constant times X times Y. So that's what it means to vary jointly. Okay, let's go ahead and do an example. So say Z varies jointly as X and Y. So that means that you're, you're being queued off, varies jointly. So you're being queued off to use this equation k, x, y, okay, and z equals 2 and x equals 4 and y equals 2. So let's use that to find what k equals. So oh, instead of writing z, I should write 2. z equals 2 and equals k times when x equals 4 and y equals 2. Okay, so 2 equals k times 8. Divide both sides by 8, 2 over 8 equals k, 2 over 8 is the same thing as 1 over 4 equals k. Alright, so now find z when x equals 2 and, 10, and y equals 10. So let's find z, so we have 1 fourth xy, so this is the relationship between the three variables. Okay, and then so let's find z when x equals 2 and y equals 10. So this would be 1 fourth, 2 times 10 is uh, 20. Okay, so this is the same thing as saying 20 divided by 4. So the same things. Okay, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. All right, let's do one more example. All right, so now we have m varies jointly as q and the square root of p. All right, so this is a little different because we have the square roots instead of um, you know, well, instead of just saying it varies jointly as q and p, now it's varies jointly as the square as q and the square root of p. So we need to take that into consideration. And um, m equals 30 when q equals 10, and p equals 4. And we need to find m when q equals 2 and p equals 16. Okay, so um, so varies jointly. That's the Q, or that's, that's the hint that we need to be using this equation, M equals K times Q and P. Oops, I meant to write P, not R. Okay, Q times P. Another thing that's a little different about this question is instead of using Z, X, and Y, now we're using these other variables. It's fine, don't let it scare you. It's, you know, it's M, so M is varying jointly. Okay, so that's what's going to be doing the very, so that's that's z, basically, as q and square root of p, so q and p. Now, I shouldn't say q and p, it's q and the square root of p, right? So instead of writing p, I should have the square root of p. All right, so m equals k times q times the square root of p. All right, m equals 30 when... Um, Q and P are these two numbers, so let's go ahead and use that information to find what K equals. So 30 equals K, Q is 10, and P is 4. Alright, so let's go ahead and simplify this. So I have 10 times 2, 10 times 2, okay, which is K times 20 equals 30. Divide both sides by 20, you get 30 divided by 20 equals k, which is the same as 3 halves equals k. All right, so if I were to write my relationship now, I have 3 halves q and the square root of p. All right, so let's find m when q equals 1, or q equals 2 and p equals 16. Okay, so let's find m. q equals 2 and p equals 16. All right, these two cancels, so we're left with 3. Square root of 16 is 4, so let me write that, times 4. And 3 times 4 is 12, so m equals 12, and that's my answer.